Hello everybody, welcome back. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about going to college with a service dog. I just finished my first year of college with Siva and I thought I would talk a little bit about my experience. Also, side note, I am filming this on June 1st, so happy Pride Month everybody. But let's get into the video. So first I want to talk about living situation and like daily dynamics. So before school even started, I was a little bit worried about finding a roommate. Even without Ziva, like without a service dog, that is scary enough. And then you have to worry about the fact that you have a service dog and then any of your medical issues, you have to make sure that, you know, your roommate's aware of them in case like something happens or whatever. So I was very worried about that, but luckily I found an amazing roommate. We are really good friends. She was super accepting of Ziva. We never really had any issues. The other thing to think about is RAs. Um, our RA was super, super nice. He was super chill. Um, but there are some RAs that don't really know what's going on necessarily. We ran into an RA who asked for Ziva's registration, which we then had to explain that there is no registration for a service dog. And he's like, well, to be on campus, you know, service dogs have to be registered. And I'm like, no, they don't, because at our college, they don't. Um, so that was interesting to deal with. It wasn't like that big of a deal, um, but you know, but not everyone on campus is necessarily gonna know the rules. So maybe just be prepared to explain that, not only to RAs, but maybe to teachers and other staff as well. I see that. You are blocking the camera. It's a very beautiful lady. This was a lot very different from college, where if Ziva got sick, there's no one really there to care for her, so I had to cancel on some of my other things to make sure I could take care of her. And that's with the dog being sick. When I was sick, or had flare-ups and was really not feeling good, um, it was really difficult. <laughs> um, I you know, had flare-ups and my bed was high up, so that was also extra energy getting up and down from the bed, which really sucked. Um, so I had to get up and down from that bed to take Ziva out and to feed her and do all those other things versus when I was at home, I was used to having people around me to kind of help with those things. So it was a little bit harder, um, but obviously, you know, Ziva comes first. Those were just some things that were a little bit difficult to get used to at first, but once I got used to it, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. One other thing that I wanted to mention that was really difficult, um, if you're living in a dorm with a shared bathroom, um, I had nowhere to give Ziva a bath. So I had to um, come home because my college is not very far from my house. So um, I had to either come home and give her baths or I had to borrow um, my friend's bathrooms who, you know, obviously they had like their own individual bathrooms. So if that was the case, then I could borrow their bathroom for that. But due to public health code, I was not permitted to give Ziva a bath in the shared dorm rooms, which were shared dorm bathrooms. I don't know why I said rooms. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, otherwise grooming wasn't that big of a deal. I just went outside and brushed her like I would normally do. Um, the only difference was those baths were a little bit difficult. <laughs> the one other thing that I did want to point out is furniture. Um, Ziva was not able to get up to my bed because my bed was high up, so she did have a set of stairs that allowed her to get up to my bed, and it was pretty cool. I can insert a video of her going up the stairs. <laughs> Good girl, Ziva. So the next aspect I want to talk about is other dogs. My campus was an open campus, so anyone could just, like, walk around. And not only that, but we had a ton of dogs all over campus, just from like students and faculty. So you had the staff with their dogs, the students with their dogs, and then people from around the area who just wanted to walk around campus. We had them and their dogs. So there were always animals around campus. That obviously, I mean, that in and of itself is not really a big deal, um, however, dogs were required to be leashed on campus and that was rule was not always followed. I personally didn't really have an issue with it 
as long as the dog was under control and didn't come bother mine. However, that was not always the case, and when we could, we would avoid those areas. However, that was not always a possibility. So, off-leash dogs were everywhere and it really sucked, so that's just something to watch out for depending on how your college is set up. The other thing that we had to deal with a lot that I really wasn't expecting is fake service dogs. Um, we do have... Oh, I'm trying to think. I know of four service dogs on campus aside from Ziva and I've talked to all the handlers before, um, but there were quite a few fake service dogs slash out of control real service dogs. We did run into one dog one time that was out a little bit out of control, um, but the handler seemed to be knowing what they were doing, so I think that dog was just having an off day or whatever. Um, however, there were a few instances where we had quite a bit of issues. Some of you may have seen my video from a few months ago talking about dealing with a fake service dog in my first semester. Unfortunately, that problem came back in the second semester. Not only was the dog now going after Ziva, but there was an incident where the handler, there was an incident where she started yelling things at me that were kind of serious like you don't just accuse somebody of this especially very publicly and very loudly um it was very off-putting it did send me into a medical episode it was not not a great time um staff had to like step in and have her leave the building it was a lot anyways so we did have to deal with that whole issue again however we were very lucky and that our school takes these things very seriously um, in my previous video, I mentioned that I filed a report against her. I filed another report, and then when the incident happened where she was yelling at me, the staff in that building also took a report at that point. So luckily my college handled it very well. They were very on top of it. The last category of things I wanted to talk about is like social life. Obviously with COVID, things were a little bit harder anyways, but Having a service dog definitely impacted me in ways that I was not necessarily expecting. Ziva was great for in some ways in that we were able to talk to more people because she's kind of a conversation starter. However, in that aspect, you also get people who only want to talk to you because of your dog, which we have had before and it sucks. I luckily did make some friends during college, um, but there were some instances where Ziva stopped me from doing things. That's not really fair to say because it's not necessarily on Ziva 100%. Some of it is just my disabilities. So I guess in that aspect it's just it's how it is and it sucks. The first thing is a lot of college experiences are very spontaneous. You know it's let's just go out and drive somewhere and do this or you know let's just get up and go do this and that's awesome but it makes it very hard for me because I need to plan for things. I need to make sure that things are accessible. I can't just spontaneously go on a trip. I need to make sure that Ziva has food, that Ziva has any gear that she needs, that I have my medicine, that I have any other extra uh, mobility aids that I may need. I need to make sure that I have all of these things ready to go. I can't just Oh, let's go do this. That's not really how that works for me, which really sucks. There were some times where I tried to go um, without Ziva or without any other mobility aids or my medicine or whatever, and it just came back to bite me in the butt later. It sucked. So I very quickly stopped doing that. I just learned that I either needed to make sure that my needs were accounted for or else I just didn't go and do that thing. The other thing that sucks is sometimes your friends will go do inaccessible things and you, there's not really anything that you can do about it. For example, in my first semester my friends went on a trip to a city about two hours away. Um, so most of them lived within that area, for some of them didn't. I was unable to go on that trip. 
for the people who didn't have a house in that city, they just slept over at those who did have a house and like it was no big deal. Unfortunately for me, it was kind of a big deal because I couldn't bring Ziva because it was a private residence. You know, Ziva wasn't able to go and um, even if I did want to go, I couldn't leave Ziva behind because there was no one to take care of her. So that really sucked. I missed out on some things because of that. Another thing, branching off of the spontaneous like decision making and all of that, is a lot of times my friends would stay out late and do, you know, do things, or then they just like sleep over in one another's dorms, and it wasn't like that big of a deal um, for them. Unfortunately, that kind of thing is a big deal for me. There's a number of different reasons for that. The first one being I tire out very quickly. I have most days I'm just like very limited on the number of spoons that I have. On some days I have like a lot of spoons and I'm very grateful for those days, but they're very rare. Um, I do get tired very quickly and so staying out late and doing like all these things on top of, you know, having a long day of school and doing whatever else, it was very taxing and I couldn't do it. It was really hard on my body. The other thing was, I couldn't just sleep over in someone else's dorm. A lot of times, you know, there was like sharing of beds, slash um, sleeping on the floor. Number one, I can't sleep on the floor, it hurts my body. The other thing was, the next morning I needed to be able to get back to my dorm fairly early in the morning, and that was not really possible most of the time. I needed to get back early to take my medicine, to feed Ziva to do all these other things and that just wasn't possible if I was sleeping over in somebody else's dorm. So that made things really inaccessible as well. So that was my college experience. I feel like most of the things that I talked about on here were all negative things. Um, but I mean, I did have a lot of fun at college. I, you know, met some great people. I loved all the classes that I take. Luckily, I had really awesome classes. My second semester I had amazing teachers. We did go on a lot of walks though, which was pretty cool. Um, our campus is really nice. It also borders on a national forest, which is really cool. Overall, it was a great experience. I hope that maybe some of these things that I talked about helped you to maybe think about certain aspects that you didn't consider before. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, happy Pride Month. Stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.